20 minutes before we say shop shop to you here on Morning Live, a group of South African university students will represent the country at the International Student Cluster Competition hosted at the 2018 International Supercomputing Conference in Germany. Last week, the local students came first in a national competition at the annual Center for High Performance Computing Conference in Pretoria. They will now compete next year with 11 other teams from abroad, including China, Singapore, Thailand, uh, Poland, and of course, Germany, where it's being held. Winners, Rosendorf Mayer and uh, Papa Ma... Uh, no, let me get this right. Popuma Kamisha, I've got that yeah. right, as well as the director of CHPC, Dr. Happy Satole, join me in studio for a conversation. Good to have all of you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. So, I suppose, big congratulations to both of you. Yeah. Heading to Germany next year, right? Yeah, it's yes. very exciting. I'm sure it is. Is it just, it's, sorry, it is just the two of you? You won the overall competition no, or are there more? We had a team of there four. Team. There's a team of four yes. of you. Were you all in the same, same no, team? No, we were in the same team. You were in the same team. Yeah. So there are four of you that are heading off to Germany to compete. There's, there's well, another two people that were chosen from other teams that didn't win the competition. Yeah? To join the team, to make a team of six for the Germany competition. That is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, so let's go. Let's get the logistics out the way now. Happy, this is where you come into it all. What is this all about, this competition? How long has it been going for? Uh, we started with the competition in 2012. So this uh, was the national competition, 2012. So now we have uh, six teams that we have taken through yeah. um, the competition. And the whole objective mainly is to build the capability of uh, high-performance computing in the country. And what we'd like to do is to start off at undergraduate. As you can see, these guys are second year undergraduate students. So we want to introduce the skills of high performance computing at a really early stage. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So we talk about having teams that have gone before. How have they done, our South African teams? How have they fared against the other teams from the rest of the world? Yeah, surprisingly, like on uh, 2012, uh, the team that was on 2012, uh, it competed under 2013 uh, international competition. and. Um, South Africa did not have uh, any place. No, there was no expectation, and yeah. we were pleasantly surprised Amazing. that uh, we won gold. So we came first. So in the past five, uh, South Africa came first three times, and uh, twice uh, in the, the other two competitions. That is so, amazing. So our worst position has been actually has second. Has been second. Yes. And that is uh, not such a bad position. Guys, mm. are you feeling the pressure yet? Oh, yes, yeah, it's building up. Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine with expectations this high. So let's let's uh, go back to what you guys actually did in order to win this competition. What did your team put together? Mm. So, so well, essentially, it's it's designing a, a setup of a couple of computers that you link together in a configuration so that they can work together in a more powerful fashion. Mm. And that's essentially what what building a supercomputer is. Yeah. So the, the idea was that we put forward a design for a computer. And then at the, at the CHPC conference, we got the components, we put the computers together, we set them up together to work together, and we installed software to test how powerfully they, they work together. Yeah. I mean, is computing something you've always been interested in? You, is technology your yes, life? That's yes. what you adore. Yes. From what, I mean, when did you sort of start playing around and realizing um, it? In primary school, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I've always had a passion for computers. Yeah. I so imagine. then from there. And you, I suppose, were one of those kids that you were given a gift, you broke it and then put it back together. You yes. just wanted to see how it worked. Yes, pretty much. Yeah, I know. Those are the, those are the type of kids that sort of move into this, into this direction. So uh, apparently uh, part of the competition was a real-time challenge to build, as you say, this uh, high-performance computing cluster. How long did it take you to do this? It took about a day to put it together. Okay. And then from there, we've been doing benchmarks yes. for about three days. Yeah. So yeah. the benchmarks test how powerful yeah. it is. Incredible. So, yeah. I mean, it's just so good to see that South Africa can hold their own. I mean, when you're talking against uh, countries like your likes of China and Germany, and everybody looks to these guys for being mm. so technologically advanced, and, and yet South Africa, we, we are there, and our population is obviously a lot, more, a lot smaller. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I think that shows you the power of if you give people opportunities and an environment where they can be able to test themselves without any fear um, what type of results you can, you can yeah. get. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, now, obviously, to, to win this competition, what, what, what comes with the accolade of winning? Obviously, we've won it before, as you've said, but if we do take this uh, first prize in 2018, what does that do for us and the team itself, those, those students going to compete? I think, Leander, the most important thing here is uh, if you look at the challenges that are facing industries and the rest of the world, they are going to be big data and at the moment we're talking about the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, all these things, they need skills uh, of high performance computing. So um, our main objective here is to be able to build uh, the, the skills and mass. Mm. And the more we get these uh, students through this competition, when they come out of the competition, they can really be uh, able to handle those type of skills which are required in our industries. Yeah, and yeah. This, is, this is what we're looking at. So the, the main thing that we get is the pride of the nation that we are there, we have got those relevant skills Excellent. and top-notch skills. I very, think that's very important. good. Mm. So guys, what are you doing at the moment? Are you studying computing? Uh, yes, we both study in computer science. Are you? Yes. Okay, you both at? At WITS. At WITS University, yeah. 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 studying computer second science. Yeah, yeah, our entire team came from second year at WITS. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Well, listen, we wish you the best of luck. Keep us updated. Let us know how it goes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope we wish you the best of luck. I don't know. I mean, uh, we've done so well before, and it looks like we're in capable hands once again. So good luck to you, and thank you so much for visiting thank us. Happy thank you as well for coming in this morning. Um, Rosendorf and Popoma uh, both going off to uh, with a, a group of, uh, I think, four more students to so compete. So uh, all in all, it's six students. Six. Okay, six. So yeah. it's four more on top of these two. Yeah. So there's six of them going as a group competing in the International Student Cluster Competition hosted at the 2018 International Supercomputing Conference in Germany. We wish them luck and, uh, of course, make us proud. Let's take a break. We'll see you after this.